Hey, welcome, Ale, he, him, aka trans yoga teacher. Today I'm gonna teach you one of my favorite practices. It's great for when you're having like a lot of like mind chatter or the mind is really busy, kind of like monkey mind as some people say. It's great for just tuning out the external noise, whatever it is, the distractions, the, the chatter of the world, right? It's like easy to meditate at like 4 a.m. because everyone's asleep. It's very quiet, the, the external energy, but if you're trying to meditate at like 12 noon, everyone's running around like rajas, the noise, everyone's busy running and there's not really like quiet, right? So we're gonna help you find that quietude no matter what time of day, no matter where you are. If you know me, you know I spend a lot of time on social media and sometimes I just get really inundated with the energies of that's not mine, the external. And so this is great for that. If you're just busy scrolling all day on the screens, which I know a lot of us do, it's okay. But this is great to help like release that energy away from you, realizing, recognizing it's not yours, get it out of me, right? And just like quieting the mind so the mind can find that space, that little bit of stillness and perhaps some peace. So it's kind of a funny, like if you first doing it for the first time, you might be like, this is funny, but then you'll do it. You'll be like, wow, this is great. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab your two pointer fingers like this. You're going to bring your arms up like this and you can either push inside the ear or just on the edge of the ear outside of it. It's whatever is more comfortable for you. So you're basically closing off the ears from that external noise, right? And then you're gonna make a sound. My teacher Dharma says like a female honeybee. I like to say it's like a high-pitched non-binary honeybee. <laughs> so think of the sound that a bee makes. And do it a little bit higher than you might normally do. Unless, of course, you're not on hormones and your voice is not dropping. <laughs> so this is what it's going to look like. You'll inhale and exhale. And then you'll do this. One more time. Rest your arms. So this practice is called Brahmari. You might think of it as the honeybee sound. So again, you're trying to make that that buzzing sound of a bee, right? When it's like flying around the flowers. And instead of what might be for norm for some of us the normal low pitch, you want to really get the higher pitch. Right? Like that really annoying sound if it's almost like a mosquito in your ear when you're trying to sleep if that's ever happened to you. So go ahead, try it again with me. Get your fingers in the ears. Mm -hmm. Conclude. Again. Again. Mm. 
So it's traditional to do the practice for three times. You can also do it for six or nine. Stick with multiples of three. And it's nice to do in the morning, you know, like do some ohms, maybe a mantra for purification. It's traditional to, to chant to Ganesha uh, before pranayama. So you could chant to Ganesha. Ganesha is the remover of obstacles. We can often find um, pranayama to be an obstacle. It can be challenging to overcome, to do. And then you could do this. You could also um, sit quietly after, do some pranayama additionally before. Just suggestions. Your whole practice can also just be oh mantra for purification in this and sitting. The trick is to not make it too difficult that you don't do it, right? If you get too wrapped up in how your practice has to look, you probably won't do it. Or you'll do it really good for three days and then you'll just get discouraged because you're caught up in these ideals of perfectionism. This morning I just sat best I could in stillness and quietude for 10 minutes, you know? Just keep it simple. I did the OM and the mantra for purification. Thank you so much for being here. Let's sit for a couple minutes in quiet. Um, shante, shante, shanti. Be receptive to the grace of God.